take a look at another story in the headlines today, and it's about the royals and those who are not so close to the royals anymore. We're talking about whether or not this could be the end of Brand Sussex. It emerged today that donations to Harry and Meghan's Archwell Charity Foundation have plunged by some $11 million over the past year, sending that company, that charity, into the red. The bosses and the couple's right-hand man, James Holt, have meanwhile been handed a massive 280% pay rise. But this hasn't stopped them sparking the latest instalment in the Battle of Sussex versus Wales, as we've been seeing play out just hours after the Princess of Wales shed a clip of herself and her three children volunteering at a baby bank. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex released a similarly glossy video across the bond showing Archwells. This is their charity's 2023 impact. So it's two glossy videos within about 24 hours of each other. These, this one-minute clip from the Sussexes shows behind-the-scenes footage of the charitable projects that Archwell has helped throughout 2023. And while the couple have shared similar videos in the past, people have pointed out that they're usually not released until early January, these videos, to show the impact of the year before. It seems they moved quite quickly this time. Donations have taken a nosedive, and Harry's been, of course, in this quest to take down the media, which has backfired in the courts this week at one point. No points for guessing then who is taking the crown, according to a lot of commentators in the battle of the royal brands. In a moment, we're going to cross live to LA to get the US take on this from Kinsey Schofield. But first, let's speak to Talk TV royal correspondent Rupert Bell. Rupert, is this royal battle backfiring for Harry and Meghan? I mean, talk about it from where you see it, from the British side of things, which you know a lot of our viewers will be listening to this evening. <clears throat> Do you think uh, this Archwell stuff is interesting? Uh, I think it is interesting. Um, uh, clearly, the first donation they got, they got a one of 10 million in the sort of startup of the foundation. It's quite normal for sort of uh, donations to go down, but it does seem a dramatic uh, drop off. And because obviously their brand has suffered over the year um, and certainly people have become slightly disillusioned with the couple. I may be putting that slightly gently, very disillusioned, I think, with the couple. And also this, though, I think, to produce this slick video, trying to paint themselves in a good light after the sort of fallout from the end game book. So seeing that they are doing something. I think there's some eye watering salaries in this foundation as well for five employers. There's a lot of outgoings, well in excess of $500,000. So there's some very generous salaries being given to five members of the staff, although uh, Meghan and Harry say they don't take anything out of it. There's some also some eye watering expenses in the accounts as well. But we do seem to be getting videos coming out from them. We've also now seen William bring out one, going to a homeless charity, which I know is something he's very passionate about. So there basically is a bit of a PR uh, scrum going on at the moment and who can produce the most uh, uh, touching or, or significant moment. But all heartfelt, presumably from all parts, but we do know at the heart there are some PR people working the machine. So you do think it is incredibly uh, specific and targeted and direct and calculated, the release of these videos. I mean, in terms of Brand Sussex, you mentioned the Endgame book, Omid Scobie, this was, you know, he's not, they didn't directly contribute to this book, uh, which of course led to the whole royal race row because these alleged racism allegations were contained within the Dutch publication of the book, just reminding our viewers how that all went down. And, you know, the connection was drawn that there has been some sort of close relationship. Omid Scobie is based on the West Coast, but there, there was, was there a direct link between Scobie and the Sussexes? No, he's saying it's with friends and sources, but... You know, that if you've got friends and sources of them, then presumably they're getting their view of things. But I, I, I'm a, the answer is very simply, you say, is it a, a calculated thing from the Team Sussex? Absolutely it was, because they are trying to restore the balance in their favour. It's a long way to go um, in this country for them um, to get uh, some a semblance of popularity but seeing that the Archwell Foundation does at least appear to be doing something uh, in a minute slick video, um, I'm not what they're doing uh, is extremely worthy. But we know that there's a PR element for them to try and raise funds in the future. Rupert Bell, Royal Commentator for us this evening. Thank you.